Hey, Edge fans, I'm here with your uh, hometown star, Mr. Carl English. Uh, Carl, let, let's talk about the season before we get to the playoffs. How was it coming home and playing in front of the hometown fans here? Uh, first and foremost has been, I would say, in my opinion, amazing. Uh, it still gives me the chills right now because I've been uh, I left when I was 16 years old. Um, many people followed me over the years and the chance to come at home and, and play for you know, in front of friends and family, it's been it's been an amazing experience. I was super nervous, you know, and, and I still get nervous uh, some nights. But it's to me, it's an honor, you know, especially at this stage of my career. And then, you know, the support from the teammates and coaching staff, but just the whole community in general. You know, I just left them all then, and you know, people are coming up to you and they're so excited about you know edge basketball and you know me playing at home, and it's been an amazing experience. The buzz has been huge here locally and now across Canada. Yep. You, you, you scored 58 points. Uh, Charles Hinkle also put up 53 earlier yep. in the season. Uh, as we move towards Windsor in the playoffs, you know, that they recently had their own 50 point score. Yeah. How does our team stack up against Windsor this weekend? Um, Windsor, I feel Windsor has been one of the better teams all year. Um, great coach and, and Coach Jones. Uh, they're very structured. They run a very disciplined offense. They don't get out of sorts. They stick to their game plan. They're physical. They have many weapons, um, but so do we. We have, I think, we have the best offense in, in the league. Um, defensively, we can match up with them as well from pound for pound in every position. I think the first two games, obviously, is in our favor because we're at home, and I'm hoping there's 5,000 plus here. So um, I feel we can stack up with anybody, but we stack up great with them, and we're the favorite right now going in, so we have to play that way. Perfect. And, and you bring up 5,000 plus fans. Uh, for our last game of the season, April 2nd, we lifted the curtain. So we, we got some more seats available. Yeah. Tickets are still available at the box office to come down here uh, Friday and, and Sunday afternoon. But Carl, what does it mean to you to have the fan support? We want this place packed. What would you like to see in the stands here today? Obviously, the more the more people, the better. Um, most of my career, I'm playing in front of 15, 20,000. Um, last year in Germany, we averaged 14,000 fans at every game. Um, I feel mile one can get rocking pretty loud. and. You know, when, when they're your fans, they're a lot, a lot of, it's just an amazing feeling. And, and there's times in the game, as everybody knows in every sport, the game goes up and down. But when you have that adrenaline flowing from your fans that can pick you up, it gives you that extra, extra boost, in my opinion. So most home teams play better, and we're no exception. We play better at home, and I think it's because of the fan support. So the more people that are out and the more people that support us, the, the better it is for us. And I obviously think it increases our chances to succeed and to win. Perfect. Earlier in the year, our, our social media guy, uh, yeah. we got a little snippet of you saying this is our house. Is it yeah. still your house? Yeah, it definitely is. And now is the time to prove that even more. I think uh, all the other stuff's out the window. Um, that's what I was trying to explain to my son this morning. Now it's do or die, and every game matters. And if you mess up or you know, you let a game get away from you, it can be costly right now. So we need to be super focused and, you know, this is where you, this is what you get paid to do. Perfect. Thank you for this, Carl. Uh, the fans, uh, tickets are still available at the box office. Friday evening, Sunday afternoon, come support Carl English, come support the rest of the guys in the dressing room. We're excited to have you and so is Carl. Thanks. Thanks a lot, guys.